a welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today is an amazon haul i don't know about you but especially during lockdown and especially over 2020 and into this year i just love to browse amazon and i also like see those tiktok videos with like things to buy on amazon and i'm just obsessed with browsing Amazon. So uh, recently I have ended up picking up an accumulation of things that I thought I would compile into this haul video that might give you some ideas and suggestions on things that are on Amazon that you never knew existed. Make sure you are set and ready with a nice cozy drink of choice and some snacks and let's get into the haul. The first thing I have to share with you was actually a birthday present from my brother and his girlfriend. This is a blanket hoodie. I live in this it's basically like a dressing gown that's how much i like use it and wear it but also when i'm dressed during the day but i'm feeling a bit chilly or i need to take the dog out for a toilet break i just whack this on because it's so cozy tom does laugh at me when i wear this because it looks so big on me but i just love it they do have different colors available they picked me up the gray one which is probably the one that i would have gone for anyway but they've got pink and um, i'll leave a link to this below because i do know amazon stock it and they're usually about 20 pounds so be sure to check this out honestly you will not regret it so another thing that amazon do or at least amazon does where we live i don't know if it's the same for everywhere I don't know or if it's just prime members as well but anyway amazon prime do offer same day delivery from morrison's so i picked up a couple of grocery bags worth of stuff nothing too uh much but we did actually over christmas put in um a couple of food orders with amazon the fact that it can come same day as well not always it depends on what you're ordering but amazing now i did order as a bottle of red wine from 19 crimes the one that i requested was the one that's part aged in rum barrels which is the one that we had on valentine's day you might have seen in the vlog that i did this is incredible we both absolutely love it they retail from about nine or ten pounds um but they sent me a replacement which is just the ordinary one i don't know it's not the one with the part asian rum barrels that one has like a distressed kind of label on it but i'm sure this one will be just as good but if ever you see it definitely try it if you're a red wine drinker amazing i also stocked up on some more of my fave little soft drink that i like in an evening or to make a ginger beer light so it's the sugar-free one and yeah six pack for just a couple of pounds we needed some more salt so that's pretty standard pretty boring how yummy do these sound so if you are a milky bar fan they do these mix-ups which i have had before and they are delish but they've also started doing these cookies and cream one and they even have a chocolate bar in the cookies and cream flavor which i really want to get my hands on didn't see any online but next time i'm in home bargains b and i think they sell them so I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled for that. You know what? I'm going to have some after filming this video. I'm going to go make myself a coffee, put my feet up, put my cozy blanket on. It's probably a bit too early for this. So we'll go with the coffee and I'm going to try the cookies and cream. So excited for that. They were a pound each and then these were 50p. These are the Oreo double creams. You guys know I'm obsessed with the chocolate covered Oreos. They are still by far my favorite biscuit. They're so good. But I've never tried the double cream Oreos and I do feel like um, it's the creamy bit that I really particularly love in the middle. So I'm excited to try the double cream ones. They need to do the double cream Oreos chocolate covered then I also got these to try as a little kind of mid-afternoon snack, maybe with some peanut butter. I have tried the Kalo rice cakes before and they are really nice. So these ones are protein packed lentil cakes. And yeah, considering I like the regular ones, I thought I would try these. These were £1.80. I needed some more coffee filter papers for our filter coffee machine. So I picked these ones up. These are only £1.20, super affordable. And in there you get 40 
different filters. I also picked up a staple, something that I use on a daily basis. This is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I use this to remove the main bulk of my makeup before going in with a second cleanse. And this one online was £3. It's the 400ml. So I think this one usually retails for about £4.99. And then the last few bits I got from Morrison's are a couple of like just household items. We got the Andrex Toilet Rolls. This one I want to try because of the colour. It is in Natural Pebble. I've never seen these ones in stores before and they're only £2 which is like standard price point for this sort of size. Pack of four. Um, they are like proper peach though so I don't think I'll buy these again. Then these two were both £2 as well. We got some more of the fairy fabric softener that I use in our washing and then this is the Febreze fabric refresher in the lavender scent which is my absolute fave for using in our bedroom in particular. I just spritz this every morning after I make the bed and I also like to spritz the curtains with this as well. So yeah that was £2 as well. Right now on to this ginormous pile of Amazon Prime goodies. If you don't have Amazon Prime by the way I would say it's well worth investing into. It's so good that you can just get things literally, order it late at night and it comes first thing in the morning, it's so good. Obviously you get the Prime TV shows as well. Um, oh, leave some recommendations if you will, if you're also Amazon Prime members who have maybe found a good new series or movie that's been uploaded to Amazon Prime, do leave them in the comments below because I am definitely a Netflix watcher, but I would love some more Amazon Prime recommendations. Okay, so I'm just going to go in no particular order. This one actually arrived this morning and it is a little, this would have been good for this video actually, a little ID protection roller stamp if you've never seen these before essentially what they do is any kind of address that you've got on a parcel it comes with a little stamp and three easy refill ink cartridges and essentially it's just like a stamp that you roll over your address and it protects your information so it basically helps with maybe any paperwork that you don't have a shredder for you can just use this to eliminate any kind of information that you want to hide this was 10 pounds okay i don't really know what to do here because i had this black envelope arrive and i thought it was something which i'll show you later on in this video i'll show you after this um but it's a magazine and then I opened it and realised it wasn't that, but I thought I would show it to you guys anyway. So it's from Neptune Home and it's one of their brochures that you can request for free. You guys know I love a free brochure. So this one is the recent one from Neptune. It's the Stories Volume 13, Good for Spring Summer. I received another two. <laughs> No idea what happened there. So anyway, this is what I was thinking that it was when it arrived. And it's a, another magazine, but this is definitely a luxe magazine this is kind of spenny for a magazine it is the serial volume 18 autumn winter 2019 brochure this one is because i couldn't get the latest one um if you go onto their website you can see which ones are available this one from amazon um it's 12 pounds the actual brochure and then on the serial website they retail for 12 pounds plus i think it's three pound shipping and they have all the different varieties but quite a lot of them are sold out there were a couple of others in this kind of beige color that i really wanted to get and maybe stack as like a bit of a display type thing with maybe something on top so i am still going to keep my eyes peeled for if they come back in stock i don't know if they will though because they're old copies but nonetheless it just has lots of inspo in again more reading material and quite nice to maybe use some of the imagery and have it as a display book on a coffee table open because yeah they've got some really nice pretty um inspo images for homeware so yeah serial magazines are expensive but they are beautiful this is just a little one now and i was kind of i'm not gonna lie a little bit disappointed with this basically i ordered barney a um another collar card thing what are they called identity tag the one that he's currently got i got from pets at home it was six pound had our address number the fact that i take a lot of social media pictures and videos there's a lot that i would have loved to upload but i can't because his tag is showing and it shows all our 
information. I think because he is a little social media pup. So I wanted to get one that says um, his name on it, but also I'm chipped so that you can, if you know he was lost, that they can um, take him to a vet and find our information through a microchip. The bit that I was a little bit disappointed with, and it's probably my fault, it is my fault, is that I thought his name was gonna be on one side and the I'm chipped is gonna be on the other. So I think I probably have put it in wrong, but anyway, it's a little black tag. These ones are only 2 99 or two, two pounds or 2 99 Next up is another brand that I love for their magazines, their books and everything, and it's the Kinfolk range. And I spotted that they do these little boxes with cards in, and they're pretty generic standard cards. So I thought I'd be able to use these either to frame them and have them as little mini prints, but also to have in my card stationery type drawer that I always have a backup of different like tissue papers, wrapping papers, cards and everything. Um, and I kind of, I like to collect along the way rather than impulse purchasing last minute when an occasion arises that you need to get a card. I like to have a stockpile that I can choose from that I know I really like. So anyway, these ones, there's two separate ones that I picked up, the Huga edition and the Weekend edition. So the Weekend edition, it just is like a little box that opens up like so. And then it has a little card there with all the different images that will um, be in there. And there are 12 in there to choose from. So I just thought that was a really nice idea. Nice little gift idea as well. I know every Christmas and things when I was younger, we used to get given a box of thank you cards as part of as like one of our Christmas presents which was quite a nice idea so that as we were going through opening presents from friends and family we were able to write out a thank you card to send to them after Christmas but anyway nice idea for like maybe a new homeowner or something and uh, this one the Hugo edition 12 note cards and envelopes has these ones I think this is my preferred box of images but I wanted to pick up both anyway so this one has a more like muted tones throughout, like this one, how nice is this? Just as like little home inspect, that would actually be a nice card for a new homeowner. These were £10 each. Oh, this is exciting. This is definitely something a little different. This is for the crafty lover out there. Um, you've probably, if you are into crafts, arts and crafts, then you've probably already seen this. But this is a kit called Kintsugi repair kit. So if you've never heard of it before, it's a Japanese tradition and it essentially celebrates beauty and imperfection by repairing your own ceramics. So essentially what you do is you purchase a bowl or a jug, whatever ceramic it is that you want to use, and you smash it up and you glue it back together with a, in this case, gold glue so that it kind of creates a really beautiful pattern and it will be unique because if you smash a bowl, you're never gonna smash it the exact same time twice. So that's the whole premise around kind of celebrating beauty in individuality and I just really love that idea. So this set, it's 14 99 Again, this would be a really nice gift idea, maybe for Mother's Day or for Easter or something. I don't know. It does come with uh, two little ceramic practice bowls that I say practice bowls, but you could definitely keep them. So this one comes with the different formulations that you need. And then inside you also get like a little kind of canvas bag if you open it up. And that's the gold glitter that you mix in with the glue. So yeah, these are just the little practice ones, but I think I would really like to get like a big white vase and do this with that. I think the white and gold would look really nice together. Okay, next up we have this, which I've never tried these before. They, I have seen them, but I've just never tried them. They're from Yankee Candle and they are called Fragrance Spheres. And this one is in the scent Warm Cashmere. I love the color of this one. But essentially what you do is you just remove the um, foil protection seal here, pop the lid back on and just have this out on display. I think this in like a bathroom, it looks quite nice and you could even have it tucked away if you didn't want it on display. This was £3.63 which is a fraction of the price of the candle so hopefully this will work just as well because it's bargain price point. The next item 
item that I got is a home decorative piece that I saw on a brand called Silhouette Vases. Now I don't know if this Amazon seller is also the same brand, I feel like it might be, um, but the particular one that I wanted was sold out on their website. So I went onto Amazon and they had it in stock. And these, oh my God, huge bird just flew into the window. These, if I show you kind of against my white top, are essentially that, they're like a metal framed, uh, silhouette style vase. So I'm thinking of putting maybe some little bunny tails or pampas grass in here. That's how they have it styled up on their website on silhouette vases. I mean, they're not the biggest. They are quite small in size. So I wouldn't be able to use, you know, big stems of pampas grass. It'll be little small ones that I think would look best in this. But another way that you can style these up are by putting something inside. So whether it be like a little candle or something, or even a glass and a real plant in it. So you can put water in it as well. I just think they're so cool. So yeah, this was 12 pounds, a nice little decorative item that I think styled up on um, a bookshelf, maybe even on top of some coffee table books it will look really nice. I'm excited to style that one up. I jumped the gun, I bought the five minute journal. This is expensive for what it is, but I love it. As you can tell, I'm a fan of the linen journals. I have this one line a day one, which I've been filling out, which is a five year memory book. And then this one, which is the today three year reflection journal personalized as well. This is from the inspired stories. And basically each day you have a question to answer and then you have three years to refer back to with that one. So this is the five minute journal. And I like this in particular because it's not dated or anything so you can just as and when you feel like filling it in you know there's no pressure to do it every single day essentially each day you can date yourself which like I said I love and there's also a couple of quotes at the top weekly challenges so for instance this one close your eyes and sit in silence for 10 minutes when thoughts come focus on your breath and let go and then other days there are quotes when you are grateful fear disappears and abundance appears love that and then each day follows the same pattern with I am grateful for, which you write down three things, what would make today great, daily affirmations, three amazing things that happened today, how could I have made today even better. So this is the daytime section and then in the evening you fill out this section here. It is about £20, I don't know if it's always been about £20. But um, I know that they are particularly popular at the moment and they were quite hard to get your hands on over Christmas. I really wanted to get my hands on one and they seem to be sold out everywhere. So Amazon stock them if you wanna check it out, link left below. I've also seen this for ages on Amazon and I honestly don't know why I haven't already purchased this. 10 pounds this one was, and it's one of those candle lighters, and it comes with a little rechargeable lead as well. Should we give it a try? Whoa. It's got the little lights there. I was gonna say I might need to charge it up, but I think it will be. Oh, that makes a horrible sound. My Amalfi Sun Ray candle from Zara Home. So you press the little on button here. Wow. Not gonna lie, that sounds horrendous. It works, hey presto. Although, I don't really want a candle burning right now. So I'm about to finish this video. I should have probably lit this at the beginning, but I'm about to finish this video. Well, I've got a few things left, <laughs> but um, I'll be leaving this room, so I don't really want to light it. But anyway, I have a couple of bits left, like I said. We've got some coffee pods my fave thing to purchase from Amazon. Sometimes it does work out cheaper to buy them from supermarkets, these Starbucks ones, but this one seemed a pretty good deal. I think it was about 20 pounds for a box of, mm, I don't know how many, let's have a look. Box of eight. And I'm honestly so excited for this because we've been desperately needing a top up of these. The decaf espresso roast are the only ones we've got left in our kitchen cupboard right now. So I've got another box of them. We've got the Starbucks blonde espresso roast, which if you prefer a lighter, smoother kind of milkier coffee, they work really well with. Pipe Place roast, Sumatra house blend, which is really nice. We've actually got the house blend in the filter coffee, the ground coffee for our filter machine. The regular espresso roast, non-decaf, Columbia and Cafe Verona. So yay, we have a stock up. But not only did I pick up that, I also picked up these to try from 
grind now i've never tried these before grind is a coffee house is it just in london i don't think we've got one in manchester roasted in london pink it's one of them instagrammable places i'm not gonna lie i ordered a pack of six boxes of 10 organic house blend capsules which are compatible with the nespresso coffee machine so this is what it looks like I've got six boxes of these and then you just open it up and they're white which is amazing because if you're wanting them on display like in a glass jar like the home bargains ones with the lid then to have them all in white is just all the more aesthetically pleasing in fact i might even go with that use the starbucks ones have these as display ones because yes i am that person now this whole box was 27 pounds so it's definitely a little more pricey but if these taste good then worth it okay the last two things that i've got are books the first one is a coffee table book which looks gorgeous i love the aesthetic love the design i'm actually really excited to give this one a read because this which if you saw my pinterest videos idea on what we're gonna do with this house this is actually fairly in line with what we're going kind of going for in terms of the dark kitchen cabinets the marble worktop it even has a bit of beige running through it which is what i would love to find and the black partition glass doors are also going to be a theme throughout this house this book i think will be a really good inspiration for us for this home it's called live beautiful by athena calderoni this was 19 pounds and 85 pence which i think less than 20 pounds for a really nice coffee table book in my aesthetic as well with the whole beige black and white I think it's really good value so i'm excited to actually read this one the last item that i got is a book from shari lapina lapina i've read one of her books before or a couple of her books a couple next door she did that was really good and um, she's got this one which she did in i think it, this was 2020 it's called someone we know so i've not read this one yet it was only four pound fifty on amazon retails for 8.99 so you've got a bit of a saving there. Um, I'll just read the back. It can be hard keeping secrets in a tight knit neighborhood. In a tranquil leafy suburb of ordinary streets, one where everyone is polite and friendly, an anonymous note has been left at some of the houses. I'm so sorry, my son has been getting into people's houses. He's broken into yours. Who is this boy and what might he have uncovered? As whispers start to circulate, suspicion mounts. And when a missing local woman is found murdered, the tension reaches breaking point. Who killed her? Who knows more than they're telling? And how far will all these very nice people go to protect their secrets? So I think this will be a really interesting read. I love her kind of style of writing anyway, the whole thriller, crime, who did it, trying to find it all out. And then at the end, it kind of comes to a moment of realization where you find out what happens. So yeah, I am excited to give that one a read. Let me know if you have already read that or any other recommendations of her books or books like this. Do leave them in the comments below. I definitely want to get into reading more. I was really good with reading last year and I had pretty much a book a month down, which for me, it was really good. Coming from someone who hadn't read since the days of Tracy Beaker, pretty much. Although Twilight, I did read as well. So last year to read a book a month was so good for me. So I definitely want to pick that up and continue it on this year. So yeah, let me know some recommendations and suggestions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my Amazon haul. Do let me know if you like these and if you want any more in future, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm on Amazon a lot and I do pick up quite a few things from their website. So let me know and I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.